Well, this is new security footage showing the moments leading up to a fellow patient attacking 70 year old Daniel Zelmer. This happened back in March of 2022 inside of Eastern State Hospital. And we want to warn you what we're about to show you this security footage of the attack. It may be difficult for many people to watch. Zelmer ended up in a coma and died a few days later. Now his family wants the state of Washington to pay for it. In an exclusive interview, our Natalie Grant spoke with Zelmer's family who want to make sure their father didn't die for nothing. Two years ago, 70 year old Daniel Zelmer was killed here at Eastern State Hospital by a fellow patient assaulted with no staff noticing until it was too late. Now his family is taking action, hoping to put a stop to the seemingly deadly trend. We've lived a uh an interesting life and there has been some wild stuff, um, but I could have never predicted this happening. Um, I mean, it's heartbreaking. It's, it's absolutely heartbreaking. Jesse Zelmer knows his father, Daniel, was not a perfect man, but he loved him just the same. Daniel was involuntarily committed to Eastern State Hospital on February 25th of 2022. Less than one month later, on March 17th, Daniel was left alone with a five-time convicted felon with a history of violent behavior and accusations he threatened other patients. Marte Ellis was also involuntarily committed to Eastern State Hospital, already facing criminal charges. Police say in 2021, he attacked an innocent woman in downtown Spokane, punching and throwing her to the ground. Eerily similar to what happened to Daniel Zelmer. In this security footage, you can see Ellis pace down the hallway and approach the room Daniel was in. Ellis seems to call Daniel out of the room, and that's when the attack erupts. You can see Ellis kicking Daniel in the stomach and punching him in the face several times before staff intervened. This put Daniel in a coma. He died several days later. Jesse and his sister didn't know until their father was dead. I remember when I found out. Uh, apparently, the uh, there's a local newspaper there in Spokane. Um, and so my sister sent me a link to that, and that is how we found out. So we were not, like, called or you know, advised of any of it. And to me, that seems strange. This is not the first time a death like this has occurred at Eastern State Hospital. Washington. Attorney Michael Franklin has been involved in three cases like it with families like the Zelmers suing Eastern State Hospital. My reaction um, initially was, here we go again, right? I, I mean, it, Eastern has a pattern, it seems, of of allowing these things to happen. And, and you know, brutal attacks like this and, and deaths are entirely preventable. According to Franklin, the three cases show a pattern of victims being allowed to be alone with violent patients. One man was attacked in his bed while sleeping. One was attacked in the bathroom. But this case is different due to the surveillance footage capturing the attack. In this case, seeing it happen and seeing it go down over the course of several minutes as the thing escalated, it was eye-opening. I mean, somebody should have prevented it. Somebody from Eastern should have prevented this. He, he should have been on uh, assault uh, watch by Eastern, and he wasn't. According to the lawsuit at the time, Ellis was on assault precautions, but this was not differentiated from normal 15-minute observations for all patients at Eastern State Hospital. Ellis has still not faced trial for Zelmer's death or the downtown assault because of his ongoing mental health challenges. But no matter the outcome of that case, the family of Daniel Zelmer hopes their father's death will lead to a meaningful change within the halls of Eastern State. It cannot happen. Like, there needs to be change. Something needs to change here so it doesn't happen to anyone else. Reporting. Now, we reached out to Eastern State Hospital for a comment on this case. They declined due to the upcoming litigation, but did say the safety of our staff and patients at Eastern State Hospital and all of our 24-7 facilities is one of our highest priorities, and we continue to focus our efforts in this area. In the past, Eastern State Hospital's accreditation has been under question. Right now, the hospital is accredited, renewed just last month. Lawyers expect this civil case against Eastern State Hospital to go to trial in the next 12 to 18 months. Ellis has his next court appearance in August to see if he's mentally fit to stand trial for both the downtown assault and Zelmer's murder more than two years after the attacks.